Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a hastily produced uh, video about five reaction types. You should have in front of you a, a worksheet that talks about the social interaction and uh, these reaction types. Because what I'm going to try and do is relate these reactions to you in terms of uh, reactions between people, things you would see between them. So the first one we have here is we've got this girl and a guy and they come together to make a couple. And I would describe that as a marriage. But chemists don't talk about elements marrying each other. They call this a synthesis reaction. Okay, so you have synthesis here. You have two separate elements, one element and another element, coming together to make a compound. Um, in terms of symbols, you could say A plus B becomes a compound AB. Or in real life, we see this in a uh, reaction called, it's called the Haber process, where nitrogen and hydrogen come together to make ammonia, NH3. Now, what do you look for in order to identify uh, one of these synthesis reactions? They're gonna get crazy, you're gonna see all kinds of chemicals. But the thing you wanna keep in mind is that a synthesis always ends with one compound. So in order to identify a synthesis reaction, what you wanna do is look at the products and you should only see one product. So the key is one product. No matter what else you see going on there, you wanna look for one product. Okay, good. So. Let's take a look at the second one we have here. Um, so let's erase all this stuff. That was a synthesis reaction. So we'll get rid of that. All right, and we'll bring out number two here. Okay, reaction number two. This should look familiar because it's gonna be the opposite of what you saw last time. So the last time reaction, we saw a synthesis reaction and here we see a couple that falls apart into a boy and a girl. Okay, so socially, I would describe this as a divorce, right? You've got a compound here that's going to fall apart into its two separate elements. Chemists are gonna call this a decomposition. Or some books will call this analysis. Okay, decomposition or analysis. Um, I like to think of it in decomposition because when you die, you start out as one thing, a whole bunch of pieces put together, and then as you die, you fall apart into a whole bunch of things, bones and guts and hair, whatever. Um, so it's the process of falling apart, decomposing. In terms of symbols, we're going to be looking at AB, the compound AB, becoming A plus B. And a common example is you could take water and decompose it, as we did in class using some electricity, into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Okay. Again, we need a key. What's going to be the key thing that enables you to take a look at this and say, oh yeah, that's a decomposition or an analysis reaction? And the key is exactly the opposite key that you saw before. In this key, you're going to be looking for one reactant. One reactant. No matter what else you see in the uh, reaction itself, if it begins with one reactant, it's going to become a decomposition because the one reactant will fall apart into many parts. Okay. Let's erase that stuff. So we've got synthesis, which is putting things together, and decomposition, which is tearing things apart. And now we're gonna go to our next one uh, let's pull this reaction over a little bit. So here we got a different kind of situation. Here we have a couple that runs into an outsider and then the couple splits up and the outsider begins to date one of the original couple members and now you've got Lonely Guy. Okay, now my 3B class the other day actually named this GYG, Guard Your Girl. And I, I'd never heard that phrase before, but it makes sense. Okay, I would, the way, like, you can describe it as this big guy comes in, kicks out the little guy, and takes his girlfriend. Okay, guard your girl. Uh, chemists, they're not that crude. They're actually going to call this a single replacement reaction. Single replacement. Some books will call this a single displacement. 
But the key is that you have one person, one element coming into a compound and kicking out a member of that compound and making them back into an element. So as a symbol, we can say we've got A plus B, or sorry, compound AB plus a single thing, C, is going to become A plus C, a new compound, plus the loser, B, who gets kicked out. Okay, now, uh, you've actually seen this twice in class. Um, we've done a reaction where we took iron, we took nails, and we dropped them into copper chloride, copper two chloride, and at the end of the day, copper fell to the bottom of your beaker, and you made iron two chloride. And we've also seen it when we took zinc metal, and we dropped the zinc metal into hydrochloric acid, and the hydrochloric acid started to bubble, and those bubbles were actually hydrogen gas, and we made zinc chloride. So you've seen this twice in class. So, key, when you're staring at all these letters, how do you know, like, how do I identify this thing as a single replacement or a single displacement reaction? And the key is to look for these single elements in the beginning and a different single element in the end. So no matter what other mess is going on, you're going to see an element and then a mess and then after the arrow, you're going to see an element, and that's going to be your key. So, um, switching, let's say, let's call it this, switching of elements. Okay, so the two elements that are there switch places, and the date. So here we've got chlorine, that was dating copper, that decides, you know what, I think I'd rather date iron instead, and switches dates. Okay, so we've got synthesis, where we put everything together, uh, decomposition, where we tear everything apart, and now we've got single replacement, where one element in a compound gets kicked out. Okay, let's try this one. Now this one, I would say, I, I would just call it double date gone bad. Okay, so what you have is a couple, and they meet up with another couple, and then they decide, you know what, we didn't want to date these people anyway, and then next thing you know, new couples emerge from that mess. So the way that scientists, chemists are going to describe this is a double replacement reaction. Why is it a double replacement? Well, last time we saw a single replacement where one element kicked out another element. Here, we're seeing two couples that both trade their dates. So you've got two replacements going on at the same time. In terms of symbols, we're talking AB plus CD is going to become uh, AD plus CB. So we've actually got a little bit of foil going on here, unless that you have math phobia. Um, but look, this symbol hooks up with the outer symbol there, and this symbol, the two inner symbols, are going to hook up. Now usually, remember, if we're talking about binary compounds, a lot of times we're talking about metal and non-metal, metal and non-metal. So we're talking about those two, so the metal is going to bond with the other non-metal, and this metal is going to hook up with that non-metal, giving us two new uh, binary compounds that are ionic in nature. Uh, where have we seen this in class? Back in Unit 4, we did a lab where we... Um, put little drops of things into our uh, well plates and watch them go. And the very first one that you did was uh, potassium iodide plus lead nitrate, lead 2 nitrate, and it became potassium nitrate plus lead iodide, lead 2 iodide. Um, and this lead 2 iodide formed a yellowish material, and the potassium nitrate was just a clear solution at that point. So we need a key. Every, everything else had an easy to spot key and I would say that the key here is that it's a big mess. Um, that you're just going to see letters all over the place. I Once you get better at it you can actually see the date switch. So you can see that K comes over here and dates the nitrate and lead comes over here and dates the iodine. So let's just call that a double switch. Um, if you're confused, 
maybe you could look at it and say, uh, if you have no idea what it is, if it's really long, it's probably double displacement um, or double replacement. Because in order to get both of those couples in there, the chemical equation is going to be quite lengthy. Okay, so we've got synthesis, decomposition, uh, single replacement, and double replacement so far.